Good morning friends, welcome to sunny Thailand. I'm going to do this uh, mini uh, vlog uh, to sort of have a follow up on a recent hobby that I've started to pursue and that's air plants, right? Now <clears throat> the shelter that we're looking at here, the big, I'll just take you briefly round it. I just purchased this chill out hut, I call it my Robinson Crusoe hut right um, take a little peek inside and I decided I wanted to try and bring it to life and do some artsy decorative ideas right which led me to taking out uh, pursuing air plant ideas do excuse the odd motorcycle going past we're on a uh, close to a village little village lane and motorbikes do go by. I did make this green man so maybe 20 years ago now and I brought it over to Thailand with me. But anyway, on with the show. What I'm about to do, I've started to collect. I'll just take you over here. I started to collect because they're in abundance where I live, right? But these shells are maybe a couple of decades old because of the erosion the natural weather er erosion which i really like because it just blends in with the the wooden pieces that i've got and the talancias and the spanish moss right now i will experiment with these shells in various forms with talancias of different species inside the shell and see how they go on right and i'll take you to another idea I'm pursuing and these are these fantastic uh, gigantic fruit seed pods dried um, which I'm gonna shortly start selling on eBay or over the internet via YouTube when the air mail lockdown is over because nobody can send parcels out of Thailand it is just not possible to do at the moment but anyway there's the first, my very first attempt, right? My second attempt at doing a display was this one, right? And then I did this one yesterday and I bought the, uh, the Spanish moss and separated some pieces to start new growths, right? And I've got a few samples here ready to grow and put in some more shells, right? I hope I'm doing this camera work, but I just recently made this display uh, with whatever I could find. Now this is a, a more recent shell. It has less weather torn appearance to it, quite smooth. And these I have an abundance ready to spray, right? I'll take you inside the hut, right? And here we are. This one sprayed in red, I hope, because it's in the shade. I'll just spin it round. And I put some glitter, right? This one is uh, silver. I quite like that effect. And then I did uh, this one with a natural uh, smooth patina. Um, this would be a recently vacated shell. Incidentally, these shells come from all the rice fields. We're actually right smack bang in the middle of the monsoons and rice growing season. Here's another one. Right, I decorated myself, but I'm hoping to supply these to people by air mail in certain amounts. And anyway, the snails, they invade the rice fields in their millions, right? Which is quite amazing. I never knew this would would happen. I'll just take you up into the... There's another sample, excuse me. Again, I hope the light can pick this one up. Right, you don't have to be into air plants to want to pursue any form of hand painting shell crafts. Another sample. This is all driftwood. Termites do a lot of damage to wood here 
and I'll just have a walk around. Ah, now this, this chap, it's a section of an old coconut husk. And I've got these beer bottle caps and I stuck these little wobbly eyes in and a pebble. And I call him my howler monkey because he just reminds me of a howler monkey. But uh, onwards and forwards, here's my hammock wrapped up, bivy style. <laughs> I know we're going off topic, but uh, I'm thrilled with this Robinson Crusoe hut, as I call it. And I'll just take a step down. And, and it is a, an experiment using this GoPro camera. This I made about three years ago. An old boot, a solid leather boot that I found. And I've got these plants growing in it. And that's been actually been out in all elements and all weathers, right? So there you go. Here's a weaver bird nest. And I put some Spanish moss in there too. There you go. And I think there's, an, yeah, there's another little project of mine here. This one's just a bit of pebble craft ideas. You know, for people who don't want to be into her plants, but fancy having a go at their own interpretation of how to decorate these shells. But, um, yeah, so, as I say, it's just an experiment. But, um, very pleased with the setup. And these huge pieces I rescued from a, a dam that was emptied around about 10 years ago uh, and they're estimated to be at least dead over 150 years and the termites and beetles and bugs have literally hollowed the inside of this one clean almost down to the ground as not necessarily this one was from the reservoir but there's lots of this in abundance this is how I tie early growths with little zip ties and you can leave these on and use nylon line to push through the shells. Incidentally, I will supply these shells pre-drilled, ready for hanging. And there's another old log. This one, I cleaned it down, jet blasted it with water and just sprayed it all in silver. And I bought several Talantia plants with pups and I've separated all the pups um, to give me some sort of crop. And this, I absolutely love this one. This one I'm going to start selling on eBay. But uh, anyway, I'll go back and see how this vlog's worked out. You can take one little more peek. These I found in an abandoned uh, spa resort close by. So I borrowed them. <laughs> okay. Thanks for watching. Hi to the green man. Chill out hut. Above the chill out hut is a mango tree. So when the mangoes are ready, they will drop off onto the top and roll down onto the lunch table. Thankfully, hopefully. So anyway, yeah, thanks for looking. Bye-bye. Switching off.